Okay, here's how to blend with paintbrush. Um, first thing you need to do is um, load your brush that you've downloaded. And the way you do that is you click on the paintbrush tool, first of all on the side, click on the paintbrush tool, and click on brushes here where you change the diameter and the hardness of your brush. There's a small arrow with a circle around it right here. You push that button and then you say load brushes. And then you're going to find the brush that you downloaded. It should be a .abr file. So for this example, here's the brush that I'm loading. And then you click load. And what it's going to do is add it to the bottom of your brushes. So now you can see these three brushes were added down here at the bottom. And this is the one you're going to use for your blending, is this very narrow shaped brush. So just select that brush. And um, the next thing you're going to need is your brushes window. And that's what this is right here. This is the brushes window and you can change all kinds of settings for each brush that you're using. And the one that you need to pay attention to is the brush tip shape. And the reason for that is so you can rotate which angle the brush is. Um, so you can make it vertical or horizontal or diagonal. You can make it face any direction that you want to. And we're going to be adjusting this throughout this exercise. So you need to have quick access to this window to be able to make this adjustment. Now, if your brushes window is not visible, if you can't find this little icon, say it's not there, um, it's no problem. What you need to do is click window at the very top bar and then go down to brushes and select that window. A window brushes and then the window will pop up and you can access that window and then make sure you're selected brush tip shape because there's other settings and adjustments that you can make so press right here click here where it says brush tip shape and then you can adjust the angle like I was just showing you um, okay next we're going to actually use this brush so I've got this brush selected remember the right bracket makes your brush bigger and the left bracket makes it smaller so for this exercise we're going to be blending this value scale so that there's no hard transitions between each of the colors. It just blends smoothly from one color to the other, from one side to the other. So um, I'm going to change right here. I'm going to change this angle so that it's vertical. And I'll collapse that window. And so now it matches up so that I can get the, the narrow part of the brush right in between the two colors. And you're going to use the Alt key to sample the first color. So I'm pressing Alt right now or Option on the keyboard. And I sample that color. And notice the color changed right here. When I sampled that color, I just pressed on it and it sampled that color. And then I let go of Alt and I get my brush back. And we want the flow to be rather low. So maybe about like 20, 10 or 20%, somewhere around in there. And you're going to drag that color from the left to the right. Now it's pressure sensitive. I'm going to undo some of those because it's a little bit darker than I want. So I'm going to make the flow go down just a little bit lower and I'm going to apply a little bit less pressure. And I want to just very gradually pull some of that color into the space next to it. Now I'm going to use the option key again and sample the other color and I'm going to drag that color the other way back into the other area and then sample the color on the left again and drag it to the right. Sample the color on the right and drag it to the left. And by doing this, I'm creating a smooth transition between these two colors. And I think my flow is still even a little bit higher even than I want it to be. I'm going to move it a little bit lower. So keep sampling, blend to the left, sample, blend to the right, sample, blend to the left. And eventually you can get a smooth transition between those two colors. So I'll do the same thing now with the next two colors. I'll sample this one, blend to the right. Sample this one, blend to the left. Sample this, blend to the right. Sample this color, blend to the left. Sample this one, blend to the right. Sample here, blend to the left. And so on and so forth. So keep going until you make a smooth transition between each of these colors. And um, then the next exercise is you're going to do the same thing with this black and white sketch of an apple. 
But the thing that changes that makes it a little trickier is all of these things are at an angle. So you need to open this brushes panel again and rotate it so that the angle of your brush matches the angle of the transition. So if I was going to blend these two together, I want my angle to match that angle. So now I can sample this one on the left, blend it this way. Sample this one here and blend it the other way. And if I wanted to make this have a smooth transition, then I need to change my angle to match the line between those two areas. So I tilt it about like that. Sample the one on the top, blend down. Sample the color on the bottom, blend up. Kind of like that. And that's pretty much it.